section sets out more detailed information about the blood tests for hepatitis B. Blood tests are the first and most important tests that your doctor will organise for you. In particular, these tests will answer what phase of infection you were in and whether you have cirrhosis or liver cancer. In the early phases, you have no symptoms. There are seven individual tests that are routinely done as part of a liver function test screen, collectively called liver function tests. These tests measure liver function, blocked bile ducts and inflammation of the liver. Each test has a normal range and when abnormal may indicate a problem. Your doctor looks at these in groups to determine what might be wrong. This table summarises the seven liver function tests. Albumin reflects nutrition and tells a little of how much working liver there is left. It gets low when there is a problem. Elevation of ALT and AST indicate that the liver is inflamed. Elevation of ALP and GGT indicate that the pipes or bile ducts that drain the liver might be blocked. Elevation in bilirubin can indicate that the liver is weak or the pipes are blocked. AST and ALT these are probably the most important for assessing how your hepatitis B is going. Elevated levels usually mean liver cells are damaged by inflammation. In the silent phase, these tests will be normal. In the damage phase, they will become abnormal. And in the control phase, they will usually become normal again. In the escape phase, the liver tests will become abnormal again. Other blood tests are to measure the markers of the virus, called antigens, and the actual levels of the virus itself, a test called HBV DNA. HBV DNA tests indicate how active the virus is and how much it is multiplying. We then test your immune system's response to the infection by testing for antibodies to the hepatitis B proteins mentioned. The immune system controls the virus. Interpreting the test results can be confusing and your doctor will discuss these with you. The most important thing to remember is that the amount of virus alone does not determine if your case is serious or mild or if you need treatment or not. The decision to treat takes into consideration your liver tests, your liver ultrasound, fibroscan, biopsy, age, family history and other factors.